it was definitely a long process. I think, uh, as anybody here, as, as Scott, as, as coach would tell you, we've met a couple times through this process, once in L.A., uh, once um, a little bit further down the road. And, you know, after um, dealt with the commissioner, um, met with them, got the approval and everything from them. This has been a, a process of really vetting out what the best options for me were um, and just looking at it from – Coach Jones, to everybody here, the way they've treated us uh, to this opportunity, you know, I, I don't want to wait around anymore. You know, I want a chance to get on the field and get in the locker room and get a chance to play ball again. And I truly sit here today and think that this is the best opportunity for me um, to get up here with, with a coach like Coach Jones and this organization and, and get a chance to play again. That's what it's all about. And, uh, you know, I'm very thankful that they've given me a second chance to be able to come up here. And, you know, I, I'm very self-aware of the situation and what it is that, um, I'm going to have to earn my stripes up here, and I have to, you know, work extremely hard to, to do what I want, and that's that's come and play and, and play at a high level. You know, I know there is a learning curve for the people um, that I've talked to. You know, I, I've vetted this process out and this league out um, from a multitude of different people. From, like I've said in the past, from Doug Flutie, from from guys that play in the league right now, whether it's Darrell Walker, um, Brandon Zilcher, the guys that I do know in the league, Jeff Fuller. Um, you know, I've asked them, I've talked to them. You know, have I got every single detail of every single thing? Uh, no. And I, I believe there is going to be a process and one that, you know, I'm going to put in um, a big amount of time that I do have right now to make sure that I do have a almost second nature of everything like I, like I do have um, in the NFL as far as knowing the ins and outs of everything. Obviously, coming into the situation, there's been – a lot of hype um, surrounding me coming up here. If it's going to happen, if it's not, you know, I'm very aware of that. And I'm, um, from the things I've heard, um, the way the guys feel about Jeremiah in, in this locker room and, and, and around this organization, I've heard nothing but great things. I'm looking forward to meeting him and being in the room with him. You know, quarterback to me is the position that makes everything go. Um, and, and we all have to be on the same page. When you have a good quarterback room and it's fun to come in there and it's fun to go over stuff. Um, you know, it makes work a lot better. But at the end of the day, you know, my partnership that I'm doing with Barstool is, you know, maybe an hour of my time a, a week and something that, um, you know, I'm going to be doing college football sports wise. I'm going to be doing that in my off time, um, no, no matter what, even if I wasn't doing it with them. You know, I'm still going to keep in touch with what's going on in the sports world, college football, NFL, whatever it is, because that's just what kind of person I am and, you know, what I enjoy doing. But for me being here, I uh, met a couple guys in the locker room so far. I'm just excited to be another one of the guys. You know, I know there's a lot of hype around it. I know there's a lot of cameras in here. But for me, you know, uh, I'm humbled to be here. I'm very excited to be here. Um, and this isn't just a pit stop for me. You know, I'm not just coming here to, to get what I need and go back down to the NFL. Uh, you know, for me, I've signed into this uh, for the long haul for two years. And I'm here to make the most of it. And that, that is what it is. So, you know, hopefully the guys uh, give me a chance to get in the locker room, meet everybody, and, and see what kind of person I really am. Because, you know, what you hear sometimes isn't always what it is in person. You know, the day I got drafted, I was a little probably hesitant on, on what team I was going to, on where I was going. And, uh, you know, it was a big jump and a lot of uncertainty from the system that I ran in college to what the NFL system was going to be. And when I walked into the building the first day, and uh, in my situation here, I've, I've completely um, accepted this team, where I'm at, um, that this is my best opportunity to get a chance to go out on the field and play and be a part of a team again. And I've done a lot of things um, in my personal life. I've worked extremely hard in my physical and football aspect of my life. Um, and I feel like I'm in a great place. You know, I feel like I'm in the best place that I've been ment mentally and physically in my life. And, and now it's just consistency for me continue to do the things I'm doing that ensure um, success for me um, in my personal life. And, and from there, you know, I'm ecstatic to be back on the field. I'm happy to be a part of a team again, happy to have a job again. Because there was a lot of time there where, you know, I wasn't doing a whole lot and I didn't know if this day would ever come. So um, in comparison from where I was when I got drafted, um, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to be back in the mix at part of a team taking snaps, running plays, going through a season, traveling with a group of guys who are going to go out on the field and, and, and compete to try and do something special here. So um, it, it's, it's a good time.